yeah, this is a legit run so far for K10. If they can get another victory here, they absolutely deserve their spot in those close qualifiers. But it's going to be Julie's four gun spray down on the bulk of the T's. But they've managed to bring this one back. Shane and Tree doing what they can to maintain their position in this round and get themselves started in the best possible way. Mopoz and Just will be up against them. This Spanish Portuguese hybrid, of course, been together for quite some time, the core of this lineup. Mopoz will have the back attack, the sneak from the shadows. He will strike, but now he is known. Tree up on the off angle. Six you want to watch out for then in this game. And speak of the man, and he will deliver as Mopoz on the receiving end of that Galil. Shane, the Norwegian element of this roster, also will be singing a lullaby to knock down Mobby Star Riders. One more player. I'm already saying it. Mobby Star Riders. Mobby Star Koi. <laughs> Koi Vince. They've changed now. They're a fish now. They're not on the bike anymore. <laughs> yeah. They're flapping. Ooh. And they'll be left to rest here. As it seems like it should be easy. Firepower and utility slightly behind. That grenade is money. Rest down at 10. Now been dropped fi finally. But Shane and Docs come back in. Shane with a second. Suddenly down to just just. And as he is stuck in middle against Yossi, who he will best early doors but now shane knows he has time to go in for that full-on plant smoke down alongside it just can pop up in this trade the ak should prevail but already in headshot range is shane that smoke goes down and i'll just can try and play around the side of the smoke but shane has him dead to rights if he does so he's gonna have to think second of this one as he gets the high ground spots the barrel of the gun come through and there is the self tree 60 now gonna come under heavy duress as a kill elsewhere on the map but it's 360 holding down the line and falls back but does get pincered does get pinched just as he tries to retreat however the advantage still in favor of k10 you've got one more pawn on the playing field to play with here in the chess game of counter strike 30 seconds on the clock though and that's going to be a factor that puts pressure on you docs with a wide swing tried to lop the head off only good for one though as he goes down big damage onto mopoz leaving him with 44 health trying to walk around the back of smoke here could be around winning play finds the adjustment onto adam s mopoz similar sort of story He's swinging in like a metronome. Nine seconds, got him, and provides cover for his teammate as he murders. Mac 10, so he can run out first and try and get some frags for his team. Very low investment on the side of Koi, just to CZ, and that's pretty much all. So you're expecting this to be more of the same. Tons of damage through that Molotov. Maybe mistimed if they still get the kill to docks. And now Tree 60 just gets overwhelmed, swarmed by CPs. Runs in the family. They're good with the Mac 10s. Ah, oh, the brothers. This time around, though, Tree 60 not being able to root himself into the ground with a Mac and lay out the rest of Mobby Star. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's the Dodo has been the Dodo done. He has gone the way of the Dodos in that one, mate, as his teammate gets a little bit too amped up on a bloodlust. They make it somewhat easier for K10 to gain recovery into this situation. As you are looking at a four versus three retake. Push coming back out on towards the bomb sites. The CT is going to be clearing their way in. Rest looking to peek up, finds the first headshot. Restless in this situation, but wrestling as he brings the elbow down onto two. Should be a clean connection on the third as well. Backstab with support. And they go through. Oh, that flash. Did just spot him. I'm not sure if it affected the CTs just as much as the T's. It doesn't really matter, though. A second flash in and 360 pushed on the back foot. Finally, some success for Koi. Finally, something to write home about. But Shane will best just. Who gets a bit too aggressive for his own good. Spray nearly line up for that double spray from Docs. That would have been brutal. Had it have gone the way of K10. But Shane is still in with a chance. May not anticipate the player behind the barrier. Behind the beam. He's surely a dead man. Any second now as he tries to go in for this plant. Why is the player let him plant there? Moff was just... He had every chance. There we go. He cleans him up finally. But effectively, the 10 are about to walk into a trap. Oh, they've 
seen the legs on the crouch out. They're able to dispatch one, but there's a trade back. Good for two as there's stereo frags being found. 360 on the push through the smoke gets smoked a little bit more literally as Mopaz is going off. Low on ammunition though, Vince. Has to switch to the P2000. Clowns on the first man. Dox with a tech, taps on the head. 30 seconds left to work with. He just waits. He wanted to get the tap off with the AK. Single bullet shot in his direction, but it's not enough, Vince. They're going to get some deagles, some tech nines. They've still got some firepower to play with. They're not going to fully invest into this hack for a nade. Is a nuke. It destroys the health bars of K10. 4 4 being the score on the doors. The utility's there to work with. You've got the early Molotov. That'll burn out, force the peak from stairs. It is at least a clean pickup. No kill onto the side of the T's yet. Finally, Adam S snatches away one onto rest. Man, they got so baited into that aggressive play down on the B stairs. So often, K10 have had 360. They've had Shane. They've had rest over on this position, throwing mollies, being a real pain in the ass. So Movistar Koi decide, right, we're going to flash. We're going to peek. And if anyone's around the corner, they're a dead man. They played more passively. They were in a deeper position. It got them so much, but now Just has put himself down with two kills. It's a 1v2, Adam S. A ground, Adam S. Just left in the 1v1. Cheeky peek and a nice crosshair placement already. He's ready for these firefights. Jumps up onto the stairs. Can't quite get the good night hit off on the last man, but he's done more than enough. The rest of the squad can roll on in. Bomb's going to be planted and K10 should have a sixth round guaranteed out of this. They could hunt a little bit if they want to as well. Cash somewhat low, probably not worth running the risk. So Adam S, his mission is now just survival. The player going into ramp side. They walk in. First shot was a little bit delayed. Response is clean though. Clap back. We'll shut down the second man, but it's all about the flank. This is what we need to prioritize. Mopar's in position to assault from the rear, whilst everyone's battling their way up towards the bomb site. Docs takes a dink in the back of the head as well. And they're attempting to go for the bomb plant now. Mopar's ready with the CZ, but too far away. That weapon's been tossed out. Get caught, though. the Dodo. Low HP, that great finishing, but he gets triple peaked. Spray is good from Davi G. And they can just pull the plug and get out of there. One of the first times that we've seen Movistar Koi just win an outright trade and get some success for themselves. Slow round left to build on then. Outnumbered two to one. What's the call for K10? Movistar, much needed round. Drop off from the back there. Bit of an audio cue potentially heard, but distance wise, they might have just been get back leg gonna be exposed. Quick shot. Still was able to find some damage, but falls. 360 left in the clutch, bounding around the corner. So much damage done, but it knows the angle. Back towards the vice, playing on the headshot position, and the teammate begins to rotate in just as 360 falls. Uh, 360 may have fell, but it's additional damage. And trauma for K10 as they conceded a bomb plant. Tons of damage on Shane. I think that was through the smoke. Just takes stray bullets left and right. Drop to five. The walking wounded. Flashbang is good. Another flash. Keeping the CTs at bay. They have a kit, but no smokes. No incendiaries. Nothing to really play off. They smoked it down now. Actually, pardon me. Full defuse comes in. Shortly not. Oh, the full defuse in the smoke. <laughs> after the nose of Movi. Goes in. 360's going to try and use this opportunity to sneak around the back of the bulk of the T's. What he may not realize, though, is there's another player down there on the ramp side. He himself could be flanked if he's not careful. But that player's actually backed out. That point gets aggressive elsewhere. 360 spoil for choice. Target rich environment gets one and nearly the second. That was the play. That was the hopes and dreams. Of the oh, from the scaffolding wall bank. Molly up onto the sandbags. Good dodo with the spray is good. Go best rest and look to try and turn the screws onto the site. Rampage continues for Movistar Koi. It's looking grim for K10. 360 taking some damage from the Molotov. Some more nades being tossed down. No chance of denying the post plant. And in doing so, Movistar have pretty much just dialed in their seventh round. It was a, a full investment as well. So every reason to go back and save these deegs. And Bulb is turned off. Goes back into the darkness. One deagle being saved then. To carry that through into the next. Only one round away between these two. 
And you can keep. Could very well be left alone momentarily. 360 dealing with mollies. He's dealing with gunfire. And now the Norwegian has to come out with that USP. Does land a couple of... And David G with the back of the team flash for the jump up. Might just have the early entry for free. At least there's a nice response. Think down onto Just as well. As Docs will bail him out. Molotov burning quickly. Forced to fall back. Caught by Adam S on the fadeaway. So we're looking at a four versus three situation. With still a minute and ten on the clock, Vince. So tons of time to work with on this one. Yeah, plenty of time and options available. With Cates, who's peeking in with the shoulder, just having a quick check in as soon as he spots some confrontation. Smoke's going to go down. 360 bumping heads with the tease. They line up for him. And that double spray is going to feel so good for him. Oh, the Dodo nearly claimed the kill onto with it. MP9, pretty trash at spraying through walls as 360 is taking the brunt of that damage. Dropped down to 12. The rest is there with the smoke. And he's thinking about going for this repeat. This is such an audacious play. A potential hero or villain play. There's one. May not be good enough, but Mopar's getting burned alive down to 19. They've got the ramp control. The initial stages of the Vertigo A play is going their way. 360, though. He's waiting. A bulldozer in his hands. Let's see if he can live up to the... Steve finding two pivotal pickups as he bodies them with a bulldozer. Quick switch to the AK, playing gun game as he slays from far away. And Adam S is the only T left standing with no time, no chance, and no 10th round. That is K-10s. And that is a sublime round from Tree. This time, bit of a change of setup as well. Tree 60 stationed at mid. He's got his finger on the pulse of the game, and the HE timing couldn't have been better. Based them in for the two-player face, and it's a hat trick of frags, Vince. A flurry of kills with Shine backing him up, makes the move on Mopaz, and it's all going wrong for Koi. They're a fish out of Mopaz right now, though. Brings the gory situation to the table. The Galil strikes against Rest. You get the entry in towards Ramp, and they're starting to bring the fight straight to the A site. Tree falls, and it's on Docs to defend. Hurricane comes blowing through on side, uprooting everything in its path. And now, Movistar Koi, albeit a few players low, and now being dispatched through the smoke from Shine, will be getting the post plant into fruition. A small gap in that smoke as it begins to fade. And K10 from strength to strength, just exceptionally low on 3 HP. Davi G not much better off on 27. Double flash through. Here comes the entries. Adam S will be able to get one prevails. But now it's down to just on 3 HP. Are we going to have another defusal of the smoke? Just gets the spray for one, but he can't deny the plan. Oh, he can't. Round the win. Bobby Star Koi, clap back. Will this reignite them, though? The nade bounds down on the ramp. Tons of damage done to open it up, but two frags are found. It's a one to two trade situation. They've got ramp control and shine. He's starting a flank. It depends on the close quarters engagement, though. Adam S is right there, and the timing, Vince, it could all go wrong. Oh, he did at least get one, though, beforehand. Stalls him a little bit further on the plant. Forces out the smoke. Oh, the shoulder peaked, and Docs makes the most of it. Gap in the smoke. Dox is going to go a bit more aggressive. 1v1, but he gets sideswiped from the Glock of Dab. Bereft of any real impact. And now they're going to charge straight down into these teams. But there's Molotovs there. And considering how many players were spotted, Adam S is going to come around the back. Gets two for his troubles. But they're heading over onto A site anyway. They're not interested anymore. They put a read on the round. They know where the safe area is. And that's the A bomb site. Armed with an AK. David G, he's peeking out through elevators, takes the fight onto CT, rips down another man, and leaves it just on. Vince, this is where Rest has to go absolutely gargantuan. But they haven't cleared sandbags. They have no idea. So if someone goes for the plant, he can just win this round by keeping his cool and denying the bomb plant. And there it is. He keeps the bomb away. Six seconds to go. And they're going to be closing the gap right now. He has to go for the full plant. That's going to leave him. Play it to the good with 55 seconds on the clock. hardest bit about this is the weaponry they had to bring to the table obviously money has been all over the shop for k10 and this time around if the focus is again set on the a site 360 from behind the sandbag with the timing he's going to try and push down towards the ramp problem is the dodo was the last man in the back with the orb adjusts and strikes with the scope numbers whittled down to just two overtime edging further closer 
reset in terms of the push. They're still trying to edge their way out towards the A side. Bit of a spam works well though, Vince. Connection onto tree 60. He's lost half health with no visual contact on the enemy. Yeah, well placed Molotov as well is going to force them away from this angle. So they're going to have to fall back onto the site or be stuck in this weird purgatory no man's land, which is what happened to Shine. Very nicely worked round from Movistar. Just displacing K10 wherever they possibly could. Maneuvering them into an uncomfortable position. And there's nothing really they could do about that. Movistar Koi going to take first blood in a... Fire. Oh, it's not quite worked out. Rest can't make the most of it either. They do check their angles. They do their due diligence, as you'd expect. A team of this kind of experience. And they manage to navigate their way through a potentially very hazardous setup. Shine still has a chance, but he's been smoked off. And he's waiting for his teammates to get up close. Money situation's not great either, so they need to make sure... They try and hold on to one of these weapons and they've just been boxed into the killing field. Millimeters, milliseconds. Separating some of these players from their early demise. 50 seconds left on the clock, Adam S. Oh, he is just being so powerful. Towards the tail end of regulation and OT, he has been the main man. Two kills in this round. His bloodlust satiated for now. The K10 desperately need a round to go 15-12 behind with three match points that may be too tall an ask on their T side. But Rest, Shine, and 360 still have the opportunity to snatch this away. Time itself beginning to tick away from Moby Star Koi. Not for the first time in this game. Sedodo dodging bullets. But Mopo's out in the open. Gets dispatched. Davy G from the side's going to pivot in as well. And that's going to keep them their tiptoes. 360 of K10 in regulation. To varying degrees of success. May get caught on the side, however. Nope. Checks his angle. And he'll be able to back away. But they have bypassed. This B presence, and Mopos had no idea. It's almost like the call didn't come through that no one was on B anymore. Gets caught completely off guard. That's a weird one, Vince. The spacing they've given up there for him to not even be thinking. Maybe there's a chance they pushed in. I suppose at this the round secure. If you're Movistar in a position like this, you might be thinking, why aren't they going for it? Well, I'll tell you what, I mean, those orbs don't buy themselves. They're expensive. Money is at a premium in overtime Counter-Strike right now. So you want to hold on to the weapons you've got. They will keep all three of these in fruition. Made them look a bit sheepish and they're going to go for the fight. Docs, perfect timing on the peak hits once. The Dodo head ripped off as he's done out. Docs demolishes two into the round, but 360s abused through the smoke. David G connects with the M4, and it's an intense retake now, Vince. Oh, but Adam S has come out swinging once again with Davy G. He may have been traded, but it's a 2 on 2 now. Just is showing up just in the nick of time with his smoke. Both players have kits by their side. Smoke can go down onto the site. They could return the favor from that first half. Shine has the right idea, but his angle is incorrect. But they do enough damage for just to come off the bomb, but he's pivots back in. It's going to be an incredibly close defuse, but I think he's got it. And that means that Movistar break the hearts of K10, break their great streak.